Lions TV post match analysis of the game that's just finished Millwall nil, Swansea one. I mean, I mean, if you're a neutral and you, and you love your football, um, you'd love to watch that game, wouldn't you? Surely, um, Swansea were like, listen, I've. Other than Fulham, I'd say that Swansea are probably now the best football inside we've come across this season. Um, and they had a game plan and they set to it really, really well. Really, really well. We couldn't get near them. We could not get near them. You can't... Look, they've come with a game plan. They've set to it. They've done well. Um, they've nicked to go. I can't tell you anything about the goal because um, I was... Um, my laptop wasn't working. I couldn't get it up on the iFollow. Um, I've had a look at my phone and it says 1-0 and by the time I've come back on, so I still haven't seen the goal. Um, but at half-time, you know, at half-time it was a bit like, well, do you know what, we could still we could still nick a goal here. Um, and, and and my expectations was that we was going to nick a goal and then we was going to have to hold it out for the for the duration of the of the second half. And I said, I think I said 45 minutes at least. Um, but you can't complain. I mean, they took a lot of risks with their passing. I feel like we pressed when we needed to press. I, I, I could hear a lot of Millwall fans getting the ump. And I do get it. But, you know, you can't press like that for 90 minutes. You can't press a team for 90 minutes. Um, they played the ball round well. They played the ball round well. We had a couple of opportunities, but it didn't go our way. And I think half the reason why people were so angry is because, you know, the hope of the playoffs was there. Um but boys, it still is. It still is there. The hope of it is that, you know, that that was by far, let's say, our hardest game other than Bournemouth that we had to play. Um, and I think that any team that would have played Swansea tonight um, would have lost, to be honest. I think the boys held their own. Um, I, think, I think they run their hearts out. Um, a big shout out to Danny McNamara. I think Danny McNamara had a superb game. Just keeps getting better and better. Um, and if he ain't in the Premier League next season, uh, oh, this ain't wrong with a... <laughs> With, with everything, um, so look, we've lost one nil to the better team. They are ridiculous football, ridiculous football. They did not stop moving, pass and move, pass and move, triangles everywhere, and we couldn't deal with it. And look, I mean that shows you. I mean Savile had to come off on what the sixty fifth minute or something like that. He he done his bollocks, absolutely done his bollocks. Um, we couldn't contain them. We couldn't. We we weren't good enough to to press them and every time we did press them we gave away a free kick so mate if I had two hands I'd be clapping them right now well done the Swansea um, they played a great game of football and I have no complaints with the result um, we go on to the next one listen let's go to Saturday let's get a big result um, if we be, if we play against Barnsley the way we have been playing the last few games there's no reason why we can't nick, nick free past Barnsley easy and and then it's a different outcome again, isn't it? It's a different outcome and, 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 and there's still hope. And I said it in my last video, if we make it, we make it. If we don't, listen, we've had an entertaining entertaining last 10 games and, and, and you can't moan at that. So onwards and upwards. See you on Saturday. Come on, you Lions.